There are a lot of different tools that can be used to collimate Cassegrain telescopes like the Ritchie Cretions we're going to be working with today. That includes Cheshire's, that includes Takahashi's collimating telescope, as well as my favorites, laser collimators. These two were made by Howie Gladder. This is a red laser that we're going to be using in single beam mode. This is a green one, brighter and easier to see both for the camera and for you, that'll be used with Howie's circular holographic attachment. So you might be asking why telescopes of this nature need to be collimated. To put it simply, it's because it's the only way they're going to take the sharpest images they can. Having the mirrors lined up with each other, having the focuser lined up with both mirrors, allows our camera's sensor or for that matter, film, to be coplanar with the image that's being projected by the optics. And by coplanar, I simply mean that we've got two planes that are parallel to one another. On the back end of the 14 inch, you see one of the TCF SI focusers that Optech's making for us for use with the RCs. Choosing this focuser because it's a very robust and rigid unit it's going to make it very easy for us to see the adjustments that we're making because it doesn't have any mechanical slop or backlash itself. It's actually quite important that we get the laser square with the focuser. Otherwise, if the laser axis and the focuser axis don't correspond, everything else we see and try to adjust around is going to be wrong. The easiest way of doing this to ensure that our laser beam is not pointing off axis, is to press it into the focuser while tightening the set screws. You don't want to over tighten, as that by itself can cause the deviation we're trying to prevent. The next thing we're going to do is ensure that the mechanical axis of the focuser is pointed squarely at the center of the secondary. Because the secondary mirror is convex, it's only going to return the laser beam to the emitter when both are perfectly aligned with each other and square. We'll start adjustment of the focuser axis by working with the set screws that are part of the focuser's attachment plate to the telescope. There are three larger pull screws that are effectively holding the whole assembly onto the back of the telescope each of those with two smaller set screws used for locking the position. You may initially need to back off the pull screws by a couple of turns, but no more than two, to ensure that you actually have the adjustment range necessary to do this. What we're really trying to do is line the laser up with the center of the secondary mirror. And because we haven't yet bounced off of any optical surfaces, that's going to be really direct, straightforward, and self-explanatory. If the laser beam's too high, it needs to go down. Since we're pivoting off of this plate, if we're needing it to go down, we need to raise the bottom edge by loosening the large pull bolt. Now that we've centered the laser on the secondary mirror, it's time to adjust the tip and tilt of the secondary so we return the beam to the emitter on the laser collimator. This is actually going to be visible as we look down the baffle tube. These adjustments are going to be made by working with the three collimation bolts that are part of the secondary assembly. If all you're using is Allen keys, you never need to worry about making the one large mistake that could be made here, which is to adjust the center bolt, which is thankfully a Phillips head, and in doing so, changing the spacing between the primary and secondary. Now that we've lined the secondary up with the focuser, it's time to go about adjusting the primary. 
That's going to be done by adjusting the collimation bolts. Larger ones are pulls, smaller ones are pushes at the three points around the perimeter of the rear cell. This is best done while pointing the telescope squarely at a flat reflective surface. A white wall works beautifully, but in a pinch, a garage door or even the side of a car could do. Now that we've finished collimating our RC, it's time to get a camera on the back, and go out and have fun. Hey, this is Steven Hendren from OPT. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. We also have some links to some other videos you might enjoy. Also, be sure to check out optcorp.com for all of our fine astronomy products. Have a nice day, and keep looking up. Thank you.